How's it going, boys? My name is Schlatt, and welcome back to the VODs channel. Last Friday, I streamed an interactive cookie tier list. We got all the cookies in the world, and chat voted on their favorites, and we pissed some people off. So without any further ado, please enjoy the VOD. Guys, I stream every Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern. Be there. Ladies and gentlemen, how are we doing? How are we feeling tonight? On this beautiful Friday evening, you've decided to join me instead of doing anything else better with your life, and there's things you could be doing. Guarantee that. Guarantee it. Honestly. Who's here for the first time? Who's tuning in for the first Jay Schlad stream? Nah, you guys are all here. You guys were here the first time. You guys were here the second time. And you'll be here next time. Next Friday. Don't know what we're doing yet. Ah. Okay. <laughs> You guys know what time it is. Uh, I suppose we'll kick, we'll, we'll just, we'll just kick it into high gear, eh? I got my classic tier list ranking, strongly opinioned white man uniform on. First family, of course, Barack, Michelle, Sasha, and Malia. How we doing? Ah. Oh, this is going to be so good, man. This is going to be so good. This is honestly, this, this I am excited for. Let me know if the music is uh, too loud. How we feeling on this music? We feeling all right? Can you hear me? Is it too loud? Oh man, too loud. Are we good? I need my mods to uh, to let me know. How we feeling on this? Is it good? Is this, is this a good volume? Listen, today's a big one. Big one, fellas. I had not, all right, listen, listen. When I say this, I don't want you to get scared. I don't want you to get I don't want you to get scared this time. But I had one of my, you know, computer scientist friends, one of my buddies. I had him write something up. <laughs> oh, he wrote something up. He wrote something up, boys. Let me tell you. You don't even want to know what this dude wrote up. Has the music now. We good? No, no, no. We're not banning anybody this time. But you guys will probably notice to my left. I'm looking at it right now. I'm looking at you guys. You guys are on the stream today. You guys are on the stream. And this is your stream. This really is uh, this really is the chat's stream today. Because what we're going to be doing... Should I just get it? Should I just get the box? I, I'll get the box. box ladies and gentlemen in this box every single cookie known to man known to man in the united states at least i don't know what you guys are doing in the uk or wherever else you're watching from i remember the last uh <laughs> dude the last uh the last serial tier list that i did which passed 10 million views on youtube by the way just thought i'd mention that 10 million views a lot of people it's a lot of people past 10 million views all you all you like english people were like oh yeah oi where the cocoa pops and i looked it up and that was like the only cereal you guys have the only one kind of sad if you ask me a little sad but this is america I have been getting fatter every day of my life, and so uh, it is only fair if I indulge in more sugary, delectable, succulent sweets today in the form of a box full of every single cookie known to man. We got it all. We got Chips Ahoy, Chips Deluxe, Milano, all that shit. All right, we're gonna go through the uh, we're gonna go through the list. I want to show you a little something I uh, I whipped up. You see it? We seeing it? There's a tier list. S to F. I mean, you guys know how it works at this point, right? You guys know how the tier list works. S being the best. The top of the line. The best cookie. It doesn't get better than this. Does not get better than this. S does not get better. F. F is bad. F is F is if Cutie Cinderella comes to your house and starts cooking. <clears throat> 
So, the box is here. We're gonna go through them one by one. We're gonna rank them. It is your job. <laughs> You'll see up here, there's a little overlay. We got S all the way here, all the way here, S, F, okay? What I want you to do, when you see the cookie up in the top, when you see the cookie up here, when you see the timer, it is your job to type in chat what you think it is. Where would you rate it? Where would it be on S to F, okay? Can you do that? Can you do that for me? Your job, okay? And then I'll give my opinions and probably piss you off in the process as I give it my own rating on the tier list, all right? So, you get one vote, okay? Do not spam it. I mean, you can, you can spam it if you want, but your vote will only be counted once on this, uh, on the, on, in the grand scheme of things. And also, um, if you don't know what the cookie is, please do not vote, okay? Can we do that? Don't, don't like come up with the fake answer. Oh yeah, I don't like, I don't like Chips Ahoy. I've never had Chips Ahoy, but just by the, just by the wrapper, it feels like an F or something. Don't do that, okay? Simple rules, people. Simple. A simpleton could do this. So easy a caveman could. Alrighty. Shall we? What is this song? What are we doing here? Can I skip this one? Jesus. Alright. Here we go, boys. Are we ready? Are we ready? The first cookie of the night. Chat votes on it. Put it in chat, boys. Chips Ahoy. Chips Ahoy, baby. What are we feeling on Chips Ahoy? The timer just started. Put it in chat. What do you think? Look at the fucking numbers fly. Whoa. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I'm just going to give you a minute, okay? You just get a minute to decide what you think Chips Ahoy is. And then I'll give my opinion afterwards. Sound good? Sound good? Oh, wait, what am I doing? I forgot half my shtick. I forgot half my shtick. Jesus. All right. Well, it really isn't cookies if you, know, if you don't have some fucking milk, you know? Whole milk. That's what we're talking about. Ah, man. Oh, shit. I just spilled it all over the place. Spilled the milk all over the place. Got some cups, too. I'm gonna do a little dink, dink and sink in, uh, in all these little cookies we got, you know? Oof. Doesn't get better than this. So, Chips Ahoy, we're opening them up. Chat has decided Chips Ahoy is a B tier cookie. Not bad. Now it's my turn. Chat, you guys think this is a B tier cookie? I'm not gonna lie to you. This is the most basic cookie imaginable this is what you think of when you think of a chocolate chip cookie it is it is quite literally the default option and you know what you know how i like to do these things right we start in the middle this is the default this is what you judge every single cookie on afterwards and look at this the wrapper is just they're completely fucking destroyed here destroyed this is the base tier cookie boys and i will not take any other answer oh, give it a little Little dip in the milk. Hmm. Hmm. How do we feel about that, though? Am I right, dude? Chips Ahoy is the ground floor. It's like this is the ground floor cookies. Okay, it's just what you get. And so I think it's fair, as the expert in the field, I think it's fair if we put Chips Ahoy at a very, very decent. C. How we feeling on that? We feeling good? 16% of you agree with me. Most of you thought it went a little bit higher, but uh, at the end of the day, I don't fucking care. You can go fuck yourself. We're going back. Ah. Hmm. Okay. I gotta rearrange some of my like overlays and stuff. Give me 30 seconds. Okay. Hmm. Alrighty, next up, boys. Oh, I like this one. Chips Ahoy Rainbow. How we feeling? Candy Blast Chips Ahoy. This is just Chips Ahoy with little M&Ms in it. But the, the, the fucking problem is, the thing that pisses me off about Chips Ahoy Rainbow 
is that they're not M&Ms. What is this? Can with candy pieces. With candy pieces. Oof. Candy pieces? Not even M&Ms? You're not even going the extra mile? Getting the license? Getting the food in there? Man. A little disappointing. But. For what it's worth, I think these are pretty good. We have a... We got 20 seconds left on the timer, it looks like. You guys, get your votes in. Get your votes in. How we feeling? <clears throat> God, the chat is going so fast. Perfect. Look, here's the thing. Here's how I feel through and through. You guys have voted D? D. You guys think, you guys think regular Chips Ahoy are better? Wow. Listen, that is surprising. That is actually surprising. Why is... Hold on. I have a window of Ms. Kiff's stream open right now. I'm going to close that. <laughs> hmm. Here's my problem with these cookies, right? They're not bad. M&M's, I think, I think any cookie would benefit from M&M's on top of it. All right? Am I, am I, am I right in that? I think M&M's just make a cookie better. They taste delicious. The problem is, when your base cookie is Chips Ahoy, which is just a, just a C tier, like, this is, this is a basic cookie, guys, so it can't get much better. I will say, Ted Nivison had to order an entirely new box of these things, because when he was over, this is the only thing he ate. I had a whole box of them sitting out because I was ready to do the tier list a couple weeks ago. He ate the entire fucking box himself. It was, honestly, it was embarrassing. <sighs> Give him a little dink, a little sink. Hmm. It's a good cookie. Unfortunately, because of the reasons I listed, Look, I mean, with the regular Chips Ahoy base, you can't really knock it out of the park here. I'm going to say Chips Ahoy Rainbow. I'm putting this at a decent B. It's it's better. It is better than regular Chips Ahoy, okay? And there's nothing you guys can say to convince me otherwise. It is not a D-tier cookie. Sorry. Sorry, go cry about it. We're done with these. How are we feeling so far? Is this system working good? Is this system working good? Do you like having a say in things? You guys are fucking loud, you know? I know how Twitch chat operates. You guys want to have a say in everything. Hmm. I just drink milk sometimes. Nice big glass of milk. Alrighty. Next up on the list. Boom. Chunky Chips Ahoy. How are we feeling on Chunky Chips Ahoy, boys? Let me know. Let me know. Chunky Chips Ahoy. This is just regular Chips Ahoy with bigger chunks of chocolate. Hmm. Has not been opened yet. Oh, I guess someone might have snuck a singular cookie out. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Chat's liking this one. You guys are liking this one, huh? A is the prevailing, prevailing vote here. Interesting. Hmm. All right, get your votes in. You got 20 seconds left. I'm going to dip it in the uh, little milk. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Chunky Chips Ahoy. Listen, can I be honest with you guys? Can I be honest? I have just never liked chunky cookies, okay? Maybe it's because I prefer like a decent ratio, a more reasonable ratio of the dough to the chip, but it's just too chocolatey. It's just too chocolatey, okay? And in this case, it's too much. And again, it's regular Chips Ahoy cookies, so it's not good to begin with. 
I'm right. I'm right. And you know I'm right. I'm putting Chunky at D. I think it is worse. This is just a worse cookie than even the original. Okay? Most of you guys are saying A. <laughs> oh, man. I'm mining salt already. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Are you guys ready? What happened to my chat? Oh, it's just going way too fast. Hey, hold on. I want to try something, guys. When I'm when I so this is gonna be repurposed. This is gonna be repurposed into a YouTube video, right? So what I want you guys to do is I'm gonna give a, at the beginning of the end of the video itself. I'm gonna give a little description, not on stream, but I'm gonna show footage of what was going on. So. You guys know what to do. Spam some high YouTubes. And maybe you'll get in there. How we feeling? Is that reasonable? Is this reasonable? How we feeling, boys? High YouTubes? Wow. Look how fast that chat's going. You guys ready to be pissed off? It's, it's moving so fucking fast, it's crashing Chatterino. Holy shit. That overlay's moving at, uh, it's moving like molasses. Alrighty. <laughs> Chewy Chips Ahoy, baby! Oh, this excites me. How do we feel about Chewy Chips Ahoy? Oh, wow, yeah, a lot of people like biting into a soft cookie, huh? Mm. How we feeling? This milk is dripping on me because I spilled it on the pour. And now I'm putting it back down in a milky, on a milky desk. And it's, whatever. Chewy Chips Ahoy. Mm. These just have always, I don't know, rubbed me the wrong way. <sighs> All right, let's get the box out. How's the chat feeling? You got 15 more seconds, boys. Do you even dip these in milk? Do we dip these in milk? I don't even know if you need to. They're mushy regardless. Mm. This is fun. I'm having fun. This is where I'm going to piss a lot of people off. But because YouTube has hidden the dislike button, I don't care. I don't care anymore. Let me just rip the band-aid off. Chewy cookies are for terrible people. There is nothing that excites me about a cookie that you bite into and it's just mush. This shit tastes like rubber and it feels like rubber. And you should feel bad for putting this in your fucking mouth. S tier? You guys think this is an S tier cookie? The best of the fucking best? Are you kidding me? You're, you're ridiculous. You guys are smoking crack and shooting up heroin at the same exact fucking time. If you think this is a good, good cookie, you should feel bad. You should feel bad about liking Chewy Chips Ahoy. Fuck you. Chewy Chips Ahoy, my official rating. F. This is one of the worst things you can put in your body. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's so bad. It's so bad. And I love how upset you guys are about it. Oh, you're so upset. I'm sorry. I like crunchy cookies. I like crispy cookies. But chewy? Chewy. Come on. You can be better than this. And you know you can be better than this. You've really let yourself go. On a similar note, I guess we'll get this one out of the way. Chips Ahoy Chewy with Reese's in it. <laughs> oh man. Chips Ahoy Chewy with Reese's. Wow. Wow. Now, most people like Reese's, right? 
Most people like Reese's. Reese's make everything better. They're like M&M's. You get a little peanut butter tang in there. Am I right? How do we feel? I'm, an, I'm imagining most people have not even had this cookie before, right? You know, like, where, where, even, where does this even come from? But what's funny is that as the votes are coming in, you guys have taken my previous, my previous opinion into account, and you're giving it F? Are you guys a bunch of sheep? You guys are a bunch of sheep. It's just the regular chewy cookie with Reese's in it. What's the... If you guys thought it was an S tier without the Reese's, why is the Reese's bringing it all the way down to F? You guys are a bunch of pussies. Pussies. You get one Reese's cup in there. One little tiny bite-sized piece that you get during Halloween and there'd be a fucking, like, there'd be fucking poison in it. Sorry. Voting is closed. 45% of you think it's an F-tier cookie. Next highest is S with 15%. That's split. That's pretty split. Meme lover 12390 in the chat saying, Schlett, you are always right. I know. Now look. Reese's are good. But you cannot, you cannot put this on your worst fucking cookie and expect it to expect me to love it. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Chips Ahoy. Chewy with Reese's. F. F. Cry me a river. <laughs> oh man. Mm. Jesus. Gross. Terrible. I need a little, I need a little palate cleanser. Ah. Okay. I think that's all of Chips Ahoy. That's all we got for Chips Ahoy. Now we move on to the better version of Chips Ahoy. I'm excited for this. <laughs> Chips Deluxe, baby. How are we feeling on Chips Deluxe? Good old Keebler Elf. We feeling good on Chips Deluxe? Hey, listen. Peel here. I can't even get it open. Chat seems to agree with me. I think Chips Deluxe are just... They're just a better version of Chips Ahoy. It's just a crunchier, better tasting cookie. A little crispier, too. This is a fantastic cookie in milk. In milk, this is this is fantastic. Right out of the fridge. Oh man. Oh man. And then a little sink in the milk. You guys got 15 seconds on the clock. Most of you seem to be going with A and B. Not too split over here. Some of you voting F. Why F? Why are you filled with hatred? Mm. Come on, man. So good. Mm. Ah. All right, bone and close. B. You guys have decided on B. All right. Well, here's the thing. All right, like, where is it? Where's the box? All right. Chips Deluxe is just a better version. It's just a better version of Chips Ahoy. Everything about this cookie is better. It's crunchier. The chocolate tastes better. The dough tastes better. Everything about it's better. And look at this guy. Look at this little elf guy. The Keebler elf. He just looks so polite. Doesn't he? Doesn't he just look polite? He looks like a good dude. And honestly, I'm still not over Chips Ahoy's Bullshit marketing campaigns. Do you remember those weird ass commercials with the cookies with the really small eyes, like in the middle and they were like sideways. You didn't quite know which way they were oriented. Terrible commercials. Scared me. Scared me. I'm putting Chips Ahoy at B. I think this is just a better cookie. I agree with you guys on this one. Better cookie than Chips Ahoy original. Chips Deluxe. There you go. 
We're going to the next one. Mm. God, there's so much salt in the chat right now. I love it. I love it. Okay. Well, let's go to the next one. I'm excited. Rainbow Chips Deluxe. And look. Look what it is. Oh, is that M&M's? Is that actual M&M's in the fucking cookie? Did they actually go the extra mile and get M&M's in the cookie? Let me tell you, boys. This guy knows what the fuck he's doing. This guy knows what the fuck he's doing. These cookies go so fucking hard. So hard, dude. You pull these out. Oh, my God. There's oh, three. Oh, my fucking God. Three, right? Three M&Ms on each cookie. Here's what I used to do as a kid. I used to bite around it. Bite around it. Make a little perimeter. A triangle of M&Ms, if you will. And then that last bite is just the most delicious thing you will ever taste in your life. This is a solid fucking cookie. 50% of you agree. Half of everybody watching right now knows what's up. Dude. This is where it's at. This is damn near the perfect cookie. I'm giving it an S. <laughs> S for Chips Deluxe M&M. How we feeling? Might as well. That elf knows something we don't. I'm telling you right now. I don't know if it's something good either. But goddamn, that's a good cookie. My hat's going a little down. Alrighty. What do we got next? Huh. How are we feeling about Famous Amos, boys? Famous Amos. Since 1975, Wonders from the World, made with Belgian chocolate. Oh, you guys seem to like this. S coming out on top already. Jesus. Hey, while you guys are voting, I gotta turn the AC down. It is fucking hot in here. How we doing? 15 seconds on the clock. Wow. You guys seem pretty on the same page that Famous Amos are good. And honestly, I agree with you. I think Famous Amos are a very good regular cook. I think Famous Amos are... Re I think... Fa I think Famous Amos are a very good regular chocolate chip cookie. They get the right amount of crisp. I gotta just redo it a line. <laughs> I'm not gonna mess up in the YouTube video. I just gotta refilm it here. They get a nice little crisp to them, a nice little crunch at the same time. Honestly, show me this Amos guy and why, and let me know why, why he's so famous. Show me this Amos guy and let me suck his dick. Cause this is a good cookie. Someone in chat just said it tastes like ashes. Bro, come on now. That's just a lie. I do like how, like, do you see, do you see this? Hello? Hello? Can you focus on the cookie? 
Do you see how like sandy it is? It's 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 like I love that. And that's something that's very unique to Famous Amos. Mm. Mm. What does this Amos guy look like? I did say I would suck his dick. Um, I'm giving Famous Amos a very respectable B. I think there's a B tier cookie. It's better than Chips Ahoy for sure. I give it around the same tier as the original Chips Deluxe. I think these are two pretty decent, pretty good regular chocolate chip cookies. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta be a man of my word. Jesus. Hey, if he's still alive, you know. I know he's making a killing on these cookies. Surely he's got some... Some cash to spend on me for a good night. Guys, don't say why he kind of, please. Ugh. Well, okay. This one I'm excited about. This one I'm excited about. How we feeling? <laughs> Royal Dansk. You remember these cookies that would always be at Grandma's house in the tin? The, the butter cookies, right? The butter cookies. Wow! Holy shit, look at this. Look at the split. Look at the split on this. Jesus Christ. These cookies are made by people who are dead. Yes, good, good observation, chat. Man. Listen. We all remember going to Grandma's house and seeing this blue tin right on the dining room table. And then you'd open it, and there'd be fucking... There'd be, like, fucking sewing kits inside. Little threads of shit. I don't even care about that. Go fuck yourself, Grandma. I want the butter cookies. Because, they're, you know what? They're good. These are good cookies. Mmm. Wow. That is so unbelievably split. So unbelievably split. I don't think we're ever going to see anything else like that. What else is that divisive? Listen. I'm going to I'm going to be a fence sitter, all right? When there's not old people shit in the Royal Danks container, you're going to have a good time. I think these are very solid, regular, like, th these are these are just good cookies. They're solid. They don't get me out of bed every morning. But uh, but I'll give them a nice B. We got a lot of Bs on the board. Jeez. How do we feel about B? Listen, I, sometimes, sometimes you got to just meet in the middle, you know? A lot of people thought S. A lot of people thought F. Why F? What is so, like, is it just because of the debate? Like, do you just have bad memories of always opening up the tin and there's just, like, thread inside? Is that why it's F? Ah, they're nasty. It's just shortbread. It's just butter. I think they're good. I think they're good. Ah, okay. Next cookie. Where is it? <laughs> Biscoff. I ate half the sleeve. We got Lotus Biscoff cookies. These are like a... They're like a cinnamony type thing, you know? Cinnamon shortbread type deal. 
How do we feel about him? Whoa! Holy shit! S! Dude. Biscoff advertises these as like coffee's favorite cookie or something like that. I have never seen anyone eat these with coffee. Here's the only time you ever eat a Biscoff cookie. You're eating a Biscoff as some dude is getting pulled off of the United Airlines flight. And you're just, you're just like, you're just fucking munching on him. You're just sitting there huddled up in your, in your aisle seat. As they drag a bloody man off the plane. I'm, I'm kind of torn here. I don't really know how I feel about the Biscoffs. You guys have overwhelmingly voted S on them. Is it just because of like, when else do you have a Biscoff except on a fucking Delta flight? Like, I, I don't really understand it too much. Have you ever seen a sleeve of these? Have you ever gone to the grocery store and bought Biscoff? They're not even in the store. They're only on the flight. Only on the flight. And honestly, I have had so many bad experiences on Delta that I can't give this cookie anything better than a C. Sorry. Sorry. Delta has, has bent me over, lubed me up, and fucked me so many times that this cookie has been tainted. Tainted. I love that whole, I love that whole like coffee's favorite cookie thing because it's like, it's like, it's like Lotus trying to convince you that, that your, that your cookie is like a variety Twitch streamer instead of like a Minecrafter, which is, which is me, by the way. This is all I've been doing unsuccessfully, by the way. It's not, it will always be a shitty Delta cookie. I'm sorry. Sorry. Sorry, guys. What else we got? Oh, I'm excited about this. <laughs> Stolfer's Ginger Snaps. How are we feeling on Ginger Snaps? Hear how crunchy these fucking things are? They're so hard. Wow. Fifteen seconds left in the chat. Holy shit. Half of everybody here is giving ginger snaps an F. How do you vote? Just type your rating in the chat from S to F. And we're through. Why don't you guys like ginger snaps? What's the difference between these and Biscoff? All right, listen, I'll give you this. I'll give you this. No one cool has ever eaten a ginger snap in their life, okay? No one cool. You get no pussy if you eat ginger snaps. But I maintain this is a better Biscoff cookie. I love the crunch. The flavor is more intense. It is more powerful. It is more enjoyable. And at the end of the day, these fucking things aren't going to charge you 20 bucks for in-flight Wi-Fi. And then it just doesn't even work like you're on your phones trying to get to the fucking go-go in-flight. Fuck you. Cry about it. Biscoff, 
have nothing on Ginger Snaps. Sorry. Ginger Snaps, I'm giving a B. Another B. Oh, you guys are so mad. Oh, you guys are so mad. Oh. You guys are so mad. You're so mad about this one. Oh, <laughs> uh, dude. Ginger's... I'm not gonna lie to you. I had to buy more bags of this because I had never... I had never had ginger snaps in my life. I was of that same belief. I was getting pussy. I was fucking women and, and dudes sometimes. And, and and I tried it for the first time and I'm like, holy shit, this is a good cookie. Immediately, my well dried up. No more pussy for schlatt. But God damn it, these are good cookies. And I bought more on Amazon because I finished the first box before I filmed this. Next one. Oh, Jesus Christ, here it is. Let's talk about this. Frosted sugar cookies. <laughs> oh, man. How we feeling about these? The store-bought frosted sugar cookies. No brand name. They're just, everyone makes them, and they're all over the place, and you can't get away from them. My God. Dude. I can't even open it. You have no idea how much courage it took for me to not break into these. seconds left in the chat s is flying f's flying this is almost as divisive as uh the royal dansk not not as divisive i mean the majority of you do believe that this is an s tier cookie oh my god but for those of you who said f this opinion might hurt even more than the chewy chips ahoy opinion I am a slut for these cookies. I cannot, I cannot, I cannot get away from them. They are everywhere. They taste so fucking good, but at the same time, bad. Dude. Dude. Every fucking bite you take of these tastes so good, but feels so bad. So bad. Oh. <laughs> Eating these cookies is like every dude when they jerk off, you know? <laughs> it feels so good in the moment. But then once you're done, and once you've eaten the entire container, and you put the gay porn away, it's just, you just feel like shit. You just feel like shit. I'm not even gonna eat the whole thing. Because I would actually want to die. But holy fuck, this is a good cookie. This is, it's so good. Mm. Ah. I'm getting some intrusive thoughts. Ah. <sighs> Frosted sugar cookies. S. I'm giving these an S. I really think they're good. I do. I think they're good. But I feel so guilty every time. Every fucking time, bro. These things have to be like, you gain a pound every single one you eat. Ah, Jesus. Man. Alrighty. Up next, we have something that will be mainly for the YouTube video because I don't have an oven here. Um, but we're talking about the Pillsbury 
ready-baked sugar cookies that just come on the sheet and you pop them into the oven and they and they come out and they got the little designs on them like a little snowman or a little little you know like halloween decoration like a bat or a pumpkin man and you guys know exactly what i'm talking about right you can't get away from these cookies they're extremely seasonal and extremely good mm. For me, it's the fact that you can't get them at every time in the year. Like, they don't just sell these on their own. They always, uh, they're always they always seasonal-based. There's always going to be a Christmas one or a Halloween one or like a Thanksgiving one or like an Easter one. You're never going to have these on your own. You're never going to have these on January 14th, 2022. It's just not going to happen. And that's that's scarcity. That scarcity is what I think makes these cookies so good. Five seconds left in the chat. We are feeling we're feeling good on this. We're feeling good on these, huh? Listen. I wouldn't suggest eating these raw, okay? Please don't eat them raw. C put them in the oven and cook them. I guarantee you they'll be better. But either way, either way on these cookies, these Pillsbury ready bake sugar cookies with the fun designs, I'm feeling an S. I'm feeling an S. These cookies are so fucking good. So good. Mm. Uh, all right. <clears throat> mm, mm. What's next on our listicle? All right, we got the Pillsbury ones. There's going to be a whole segment in this video uh, that you guys aren't seeing right now because it's live, but the video will have me, like, baking them and uh, and reacting to them and biting into them. Oh, my God. I'm just looking forward to it. I'm just looking forward to it. Mm. What do we got next? The fuck is this? A fortune cookie? The fuck is a fortune cookie doing here? From Panda Express? Oh. Huh. That's strange. How do you guys feel about, uh, about fortune cookies? We like them. I always like reading them. Hmm. Atone for your sins? Um, let's talk about Milano's. How do we feel about Milano's, boys? Pepperidge Farm. How are we feeling? Milano's? We like the Milano's? <laughs> Sideways, look. The Milano's are all tilted. Because in reality, they come facing vertically. And then you can't, you know... On the tier list thing, it would be really tiny and, sh and smushed. So we had to put them sideways. Sorry. I... I got a tweet from someone I know before I went live. Um... He's actually probably watching this right now, and he's actually the COO of the company I own, Tips Out. Um, and he said to me, he will uh, dilute all my equity if I say something bad about this cookie.
Bone and Close Milano. You guys think it's S. You guys think this is an S tier cookie. Hey. Okay, boys. Look. Pepperidge Farm makes some good cookies. And I don't know if it, I don't know if I like Milano a lot. Uh, I don't know if I like Milano as much as I do because it's like a nostalgia thing. But my grandma always would have, she'd always have a box of these things lying around. Whenever I'd go over to her house, a lot of the time I was sick and I'd, I'd skip school. I'd have a sick day, get the doctor's note. I'd go to Grammy's and uh, watch some Tom and Jerry. I'd watch the early morning Cartoon Network cartoons and I'd have some Milanos. And uh, it, it's just such a great memory for me. That being said, Pepperidge Farm does not. They just don't understand how to package fucking cookies. They don't. Like, I, why do they do it like this? Every single time I wind up ripping the package or like, why do you stack them on top of each other? Be normal, man. Have a regular tray of cookies and a little opener. This is just so unnecessary. You don't have to have the box like goldfish. Goldfish is different. You just put the fucking hand in. It's just a pile of goldfish in there. What is it with this? This is the most this is the most inefficient way to stack cookies. You're gonna put you're gonna put a bunch of cookies in here in a little wrapper and then have more underneath it? What the fuck is wrong with you? Milano's are fucking good, though. All right? No amount of bad packaging can convince me otherwise. Milano's are a good cookie. So? Regular Milano's. Wait. Milk chocolate. There it is. Regular Milano's. I'm giving an A. These are not my favorite cookie in the world, but they are damn good. And they bring back some good memories. For all you guys tuned in right now, I want to give a little shout out to something I, uh, something I love very much, and that is called Twitch Prime. So, if you're watching this on your phone, if you're watching this on your desktop, you don't really know how Twitch works, that's okay. Hit that purple subscribe button down below, and if you have Amazon Prime, or if your parents, mommy and daddy have Amazon Prime, you can hit the subscribe for free button using Twitch Prime. It's free, it's free, and it helps me out. And for all my communist folk out there, if you really wanna stick it to Amazon, stick it to Jeff Bezos, this comes out of his pocket. Cause they gotta pay me a couple bucks for everyone who does that shit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I do love my boss, Jeff Bezos. I love him. I love him. So just keep those rolling in, you know? Just hit that purple subscribe button. Hit subscribe for free if you got Amazon Prime. You can do it once a month. So even if you're like, even if you're like, oh, I hate Schlatt. I don't even want to watch him. Come back here every month. Set a reminder. Come back. Hit the button again. Please. I'm struggling. I'm struggling. <laughs> Up next, we got dark chocolate. Dark chocolate Milanos. How are we feeling on dark chocolate Milanos? Mmm. I'm gonna try my best to not completely destroy the packaging here. Fly. Get out of my face. <clears throat> now, boys, I'm gonna level with you. I have never had one. Never in my entire life have I ever eaten a dark chocolate Milano. So this is live. This is live J Schlatt reaction time. You guys seem to love them. What the fuck? I know you guys like the, the milk chocolate one, but dark chocolate in a crowd full of Zoomers? I'm gonna give it a shot. Smells 
smells like a Milano. Feels like a Milano. And guys, I hate to be the I hate to be the dude to shit in the cornflakes, but maybe I just don't like dark chocolate. I just don't. I just don't like dark chocolate. It makes me feel old. It makes it. I feel I feel fucking decrepit when I eat dark chocolate foods. I start hearing stage one of the fucking caretakers start playing. And so against my better judgment, because you guys all seem to love this cookie. I'm giving dark chocolate Milanos. E. I would not eat another one of these things if you paid me to. Sorry. Sorry. Cry about it. Send me a little letter. Send it off to my P.O. box. Ugh. Sorry. <laughs> My stream. <laughs> My stream. Alrighty. Up next. Ah. Here it is. Mint Milano cookies. How do we feel about mint Milano cookies? We ever had this mint chocolate? I'll try my best to open it without blowing it. Fuck's sake. Fuck me in the ass and call me a pretty little slut. What? This is very split. This is, oh my God, this is very split. <laughs> ah, dude, it smells like chewing gum. I'm gonna try it. No, no, I'm sorry. No, no. Five seconds left on the pole. Mm. So, F has one with 44%. Closely followed by S at 30%. Listen. I can do mint chocolate chip ice cream. I can do minty cold things, but when it comes to cookies, listen, man. I smelled it, and it's it it smelled like fucking five gum. Okay, I smell chewing gum when I when I smell mint Milanos. It's just not for me. It's just not for me. That's <coughs> that's why I think I'm gonna put mint Milanos. At E. Sorry. It's it's about as good as the dark chocolate. Not good at all. Ah. Schlett, you're really old. You might, you know, what, die? I'm 22. How old are you guys? I'm so surprised. Can I just say, I am so surprised that you guys voted S on the... On the dark chocolate Milanos. Oh, don't put your age in chat. You'll get banned, actually, if you confess to being younger than TOS. Don't. That was just another test to weed out the Minecrafters. <laughs> ah. Okay, up next, up next. Actually guys, 
I want to do another quick shout out. I do have a secondary Twitch channel that I've been streaming to every now and then. Uh, the past couple times, I've been reacting to Video Game High School. If you guys don't know what that is, it's an old web series. It's my favorite thing on the internet, pretty much. Um, it's a web series on YouTube that came out probably around a decade ago at this point. Um, made by Freddie W, all the Rocket Jump people. I don't know if you guys know that. Really OG names uh, in the YouTube space. And I've been streaming on twitch.tv slash shellat. So just remove the J. Remove the J and follow me over there. Because uh, after this stream, right after this stream, stick around. Once the stream ends, I'm going to raid into the alt stream. And we're just going to have a chill, laid back time. Talk about the stream. Watch some video game high school. How we feeling? Now, shall I become a reacting Twitch streamer? Listen. Last time I streamed it, I had Freddie Wong, the creator of the show, in VC with me talking about the show. And soon enough, before this, before we finish season three, uh, we're gonna have one of the main actors in the show, Jimmy Wong, Freddie's brother, who plays Ted. Uh, he's gonna be chilling with us too. So it'll be fun. It is very laid back. There are no expectations when I go live on that channel. It's just one of those things like if you like me, if you wanna have a good, you know, laid back time, then that's what you tune in for. But we'll be doing that directly after the stream. I'm gonna raid in, so stick around. Alrighty. Next up, we got some more, we got some more pep Pepperidge Farm, actually. Ah, chessmen. How are we feeling about chessmen? Look at this. I tried getting into these earlier. I, it's ruined. Every, dude. Can we, can we like send a, a, a nasty letter signed by all, everyone who's watching this? Can we just sign a nasty letter to Pepperidge Farm and say, you gotta fucking fix this shit? Cause every time I rip it and it just makes the cookies stale. They're just stale. Why are we, Jesus Christ, 43% F? Why do you guys hate shortbread and like buttery cookies? What's the problem? <laughs> They're not that bad. 15 seconds left. You guys have all collectively decided that this is an F tier cookie. What the fuck? I'm not going to lie with you. I don't get that. I don't get the F rating. I think shortbread cookies are shortbread cookies. Like they're okay. <laughs> honestly like honestly like th this has got to be the most least offensive cookie out there chessmen it's shortbread it's shortbread same thing with Lorna Dune I'd give these a middle of the road I have one they'll have a little design on Christmassy design on this one hmm. I don't know why the fuck you guys hate shortbread but like I said, there's a middle of the road cookie. No one has a bad memory with chessmen. I don't know what the fuck. Ha I don't know what the fuck a bunch of chessmen did to, did to you guys. <laughs> Jesus Christ! You'd think the cookie went into your house and killed your entire family. I'm putting chessmen at a very respectable C, and I put Lorna Dune there too. I'm not. All right, so Pepperidge Farm, bunch of hits, bunch of misses. Milano, very good. The Milano flavors, not feeling too much. Chessmen, middle of the road, C tier. <laughs> but then there's Farmhouse. Stargaz, thanks for the 10 gifted subs, man. Appreciate that. Oh. Farmhouse cookies. Farmhouse cookies. Farmhouse cookies. Farmhouse cookies. Farmhouse cookies. I already ripped up the packaging. Just get me, just let me at them. Let me at them. Oh 
Cam's cord. Thanks for the 10 as well, man. Appreciate that a whole lot. 15 seconds left, boys. How we feeling about Farmhouse Cookie? Oh my god. Holy shit, Stargast. 25 gifties? Yo, Ludwig! I see you, bro. Ludwig, resubscribe for one month at tier one. They've been subscribed for 27 months. Cutie is a good cook. He goes. I like. Have her send me something for the next tier list. How about that? We'll judge it live. Oh my god. Fuck me, man. Fuck me. Oh. Listen. I I just love crispy cookies, okay? Fuck chewing on a piece of rubber. Fuck chewing on a piece of rubber. These fucking cookies suck ass and dick and cock and nuts, okay? This is what a cookie is all about. God, it like melts in your mouth. Farmhouse is so fucking good. Come on now. Chat overwhelmingly voted S. And I'd have to agree with you. This is damn near the perfect cookie. Okay? It is so close. It's so close to being the most perfect cookie ever made. But. I have to give Farmhouse an A. Because there is a better cookie out there. Introducing to the stand, local New York cookie brand. Tate's motherfucking bake shop. Now, if you guys have not had Tate's before, please do not vote. Set three quarters. You need to fucking buy these immediately. I don't know what kind of crack they're putting into this cookie, but this is the most delicious thing I have ever fucking tasted. Tate's Bake Shop is my favorite cookie ever. Ever. This is the best tasting thing I've ever put in my mouth, and I've put a lot of stuff in my mouth. I'm not going to finish that thought. <clears throat> Five seconds left. Get the rankings in. Listen, I don't know how many of you guys have had these. Okay, in the chat, let me know if you've ever even heard of Tate's. Please. This is a... Look, this is probably... This is probably just my New York pride kicking in. All right? But this is such a fucking good cookie. You guys have to try these. I've been gloating about this cookie. I forgot to even eat one. See, it's the same exact thing as Farmhouse. The cookies look exactly the same. They feel exactly the same in the mouth. They both melt in the mouth. But this is just the better one. Okay? This is just the better cookie. Show me this Tate guy, and I will pleasure him orally. I don't even care. Amos, I'll pass on Amos. But Tate, I don't even know what you look like, man. I'm in. Tate's Bake Shop, chocolate chip cookies, S. That is the best cookie I have ever had.
I would taste Tate's taint. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. So. I would taste, 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 taint, taint. But you show me these two fucks. Lenny and Larry. You show me these guys, I will do no such thing. Lenny and Larry's. The perfect cookie. Oh, I'm sorry. The complete cookie. The complete cookie. <laughs> oh my God. Get the votes in, boys. How are we feeling on Lenny and Larry, the complete cookie? I don't even want to look at it. Don't think I'm going to. Ten seconds left, boys. Should I even open it? Does this even look like... Does this even look like something you want to eat? This looks like the surface of fucking Mars, bro. This is... It's disgusting. It's garbage. Lenny and Larry's... Lenny and Larry's complete cookie is a cliff bar for people who want to be honest with themselves. Okay? You can't eat healthy, so you're buying a fucking cookie that says it's healthy on it to make yourself feel better about being a fat piece of shit. Okay? We get another one. Fucking bitch. That's that fucking laser. <laughs> you guys didn't know I was a pitcher. Pitcher in high school baseball. They brought me in one time to to pick somebody off. Did you guys know that? I'm not even joking you. I was on a I was on the high school baseball team and I was a lefty, right? So you pitch and then first base you're looking at it the whole time, right? Someone's on first base, what you can do, you lift your leg and just go straight that way and you throw it to first. You know, you can do a whole fake out thing where, you know, bottom of the seventh inning, okay? Bottom of the seventh inning, two outs. This is a, this is a huge fucking tangent, but it is completely true. Bottom of the seventh inning, two outs. We're almost going to win. All right, we need one more out to win. Close game, too. Our pitcher's, our pitcher's running out of steam. He's been going the whole game. He walks a guy. This is not good. That is the tying run. We'd be going into extras. Two outs. They pull him out. And they say, Schlatt, it's fucking go time. I walk up. I need a better song. I walk up to the pitchers, man. Pretend like I'm going to throw a pitch. I do my warm-ups. They're like, all right, this guy sucks. He's not even throwing the ball hard. First time. I get ready. Looking at the first base guy. Looking at the runner the whole time. I go up. I fake a really shitty pickoff move. It's really shitty. Th their team starts laughing. They're like, what are you... What was you... What are you trying to do there? All good. He's safe. Catch the ball. All right, now I'm ready to fucking pitch. I don't even fucking look at him. Leg kicks up. He didn't even see it fucking coming. He didn't even see that shit coming. And he's out. He gets caught with his pants down. True story. Completely true story. 
They put the tag on him. The kid is, the kid is like, tears in his eyes, tears welling up as he walks back to the dugout because he just got picked off to lose the game for his fucking team. And I get a save. I get a save. I saved the game and I didn't even throw a single pitch. You guys are saying I'm lying, but listen, you don't even know how good I was back in the day. That was actually the only time they ever put me in the game. <laughs> mm. Alrighty. Listen. If you voted anything else but F on Lenny and Larry's complete cookie, you should feel bad. Okay? I feel bad for you. I feel bad. This is so this is the worst cookie ever. Ever. And don't even it, like it's embarrassing. Are you eating a complete? You're so sad that you can't even eat healthy. You have to you have to eat cookies that say they're healthy on it and pretend like you're doing something. Oh. It's funny cuz I actually had a computer scientist uh he knows what you guys voted for this time. And we got a whole big list and you know you're going to be banned after this stream. <laughs> Sorry. All right, let's go back into Keebler. Keebler made the uh, the Chips Deluxe cookies, but there's more. They do more stuff that I haven't covered yet. Oh, oh, wait, you guys don't want to be banned? You better start groveling. You better start groveling. Look at you fucking idiots. Voting anything other than F. <laughs> I'm fucking Lenny and Larry's. Jesus Christ. Like, I knew you guys were dumb, but holy shit. Hmm. Alrighty. Let's go, uh, let's kick some Keebler ass. L fudge. E L fudge. Elf fudge. Uh. I, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> These ones are are pretty muy bueno. Forget the double. Forget the double. It's the wrong cookie, all right? We're talking about the regular elf fudge. How we feeling on it? Mm. You don't like them? Listen. I... I just gotta ask you, is this like Spanish? Is this a Spanish cookie? Is it El Fudge? E-L Fudge? Is it Elf? Cause he's an Elf? I don't know. Oh my God. Either way, either way, I think these are pretty cool. They're shaped like them, you know? They got, they, they're fucking shaped like the Elf. They're fucking shaped like them, Ernie. Ernie, his name's Ernie. He is such a polite little fellow. And, and there's always like a little, little like quote on him. Uh, uh, uh. Voting clothes on B. Okay. Can, can you please? And there's always like a little quote on him. A little, little cute little quote from the hollow tree. Ah, some elf shit or something. I don't know. Look. Yeah. I think even in the regular form. My only problem is that I think there's a little too much filling, okay? Even in the regular one. I think the I think the chocolate often overpowers the the good tasting gram here. That being said, this is a very enjoyable cookie if it comes straight out of the fridge and you dip it in some milk. So, on EL Fudge, I am feeling a very respectable B. Do you guys put your cookies in the fridge? Am I weird for that? Am I weird for wanting to have a cold cookie? I don't think I'm weird for that. What are you going to have them in the, sitting in a warm pantry? That's weird. That's weird.
Can we actually pull real quick? Matt, can you uh, just pull up a cookie to vote on? S if you put your cookies in the fridge. F if you put them in the pantry. And we'll just redo the vote on the cookie when, you know. I'll just select fudge stripes because that's the next one we're going to rate. And we'll just redo the poll. So, can we start the timer on this one? Guys, S. S, if you put them in the fridge, F, if you keep them in the pantry. Or warm cookies. Ah, I just realized we could have done a poll. <laughs> well, do both. Do both. I don't care. Fridge cookie. No. Okay. Well, you guys are weird for that. Seems like a quarter of us put it in the fridge. Alrighty. Fair enough. We're pausing it. Resetting entries. Okay. Okay. So, let's go again. Fudge stripes. Keebler fudge stripes. Man. Man. Dude, dude. When I was a kid, I, I used to be skinny enough where I could put my finger through it. These days, not so much. Mm. Oh my God. Wow, you guys like these ones. That's respectable. I respect that. I respect it. These guys are just a smidge too crunchy for me. They're a little, yeah, they're a little crumbly. It's shortbread. It's shortbread. Shortbread and the and the and the fudge. Listen, you guys are feeling a very good S on this. Fifty-eight percent. That's good. Twenty-four on A. Wow. Very few of you people hate this, and that's good. Look. I think this is basically like the same as EL Fudge, but it's arranged in a in, a, in just a, just the superior way, right? Same ingredients, just a better cookie. And for that reason, I'm giving Fudge Stripes. Gotta redo the line. I, I stumbled over my words a little bit. And for that reason, I'm giving Fudge Stripes an A. A. A tier. Listen, they don't come close to Tate's. That's the thing. They don't come close to the to the frosted sugar cookies. They don't come close to Chippy Deluxe. They don't come close to the Pillsbury. All right? They're good, though. I like them. Hey. All right. Respectable opinion. Okay. I'm glad you guys respect that one. <laughs> Sandy's. Sandy's? Sandy's? Sandy's. Shortbread. Oh, you guys already hated the other shortbread cookies, so I know how this is going to go. I know exactly how this is going to fucking go. Camp Scored has gifted 51 subs in the Twitch chat. This guy named Ryan P has gifted 100. Is that the Ryan P I know? In that case, thanks, Ryan. Either way, thanks, Ryan. God, you guys don't like this one bit. You guys do not like Sandy's. Mm. Mm. Look. You guys have voted 56% F. I don't care about Sandy's, okay? I am so overwhelmingly straight that the thought of that little fucking elf piece of shit putting his nuts in my cookie, it, 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 it makes me want to want to gag, okay? But the shortbread, the shortbread is good. 
So I'm not going to give it an, a straight F. Sandy's D. D for dick. Get it? Because there's nuts in the cook... Whatever. <laughs> All right. Let's see it. Vienna Fingers. Vienna Fingers, boys. Vienna Fingers cream-filled sandwich cookies. Feeling on that. Mm. Ah. This is another cookie I have good memories with. Now my grandma would always have. Look at that. That's beautiful. It's beautiful. The way these are packaged is just a one. Oh my god. These are good. Hmm. All right. Well, the voting has closed on Vienna Fingers, and you guys are looking at 30% B with C next, then A, then S, then F, then D, then E. I think that's fair. Look, I think that's a fair rating. Um, I'll say it. I'll say it. This is going to take a lot of courage to say. Vienna fingers are just a better golden Oreo. They are. They are. They're a better golden Oreo. You want a good golden cookie with cream in inside? Go with Vienna fingers. This is a good cookie. It's B. It's B. Don't even worry about the fact that the elf came inside the cookie. You don't even worry about that. That's nothing to worry about. Sorry if I just ruined Vienna fingers for you all. But that elf gets up to something. He's not on the cover of all those fucking cookies for nothing. That comment on Golden Oreos might have been a little inflammatory, but it was a segue. All right? You know why? This brings me to the moment you've all been waiting for. Oreo. We feeling on Oreos, boys. It's beautiful. It's a work of art. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Look at Oreos. Now. Oh, I need more milk. Dude, I'm fucking, I've been sipping on my milk, on my milky milky. Top me off, waiter. Thank you. Ah, here we go. Chat, you guys love this cookie. And <laughs> look, I know I tend to be a little, you know, I, I tend to go against the grain, right? You guys know me, I go against the grain. I know I shared, I know I've shared a lot of fucked up opinions on this show already. Correct ones, I mean, they're all correct. I'm, I'm right. But they're a little fucked up, all right?
but but you are out of your mind if you don't think this is Milk's favorite fucking cookie. Because it is. It is. This is the best cookie you can dip into milk. It just is. And it tastes so fucking good. Oh my God. You guys were nervous for a second, weren't you? <laughs> but. There's something we did with these cookies as a kid. There's a way to make them better. Right? What did we do? We got our fingernail underneath. We pulled them apart. You could do a little lick ski. Uh -uh. But then you grabbed another one. And you did the same thing. And what'd you do? You put them together. The perfect cookie. Oreo regular. A. Because double stuff Oreo is the perfect version of Oreos. It is. It is. I'm sorry. Let's get the votes going. Let's get the votes going on double stuff. Double stuff, baby. Now look at this. Look at this reveal. Ooh, oh, the middle's all fucked. What? Oh, someone's been eating them. <laughs> it's probably me. Oh, man. I'm telling you. Look. The double stuff Oreo is perfection. It is perfection. This is this is far and away one of the easiest S's you can give to a cookie. It just is. It just is. Regular Oreos are good. But double stuff is the goat. This is the best form of Oreo. Voting close. S, 58%. Far and away, I agree with you, boys. Oreo, double stuff, S-tier cookie. Delicious. This is Oreo at its finest. And then it starts going downhill. Then it starts going downhill. Because what's next? Mega stuff Oreo. Mega stuff. Well... I mean, okay, mega stuff. Maybe we could get a reveal going, ready? Ooh! Now look, you see that? Do you, do you like see this, this one right here and that one right there? It's just too much. Do you see it? Do we see this? Do we see where they added two specific layers of it? Like, they don't even have the machinery to make them. Because it's not necessary. This is too much, okay? Daddy Nabisco gave most stuff... Daddy Nabisco gave Oreos a pair of wings. And I think they flew a little too close to the sun on this. Because it's just too much. Don't get me wrong. They're still okay. They're still decent. I can still eat these fucking things. But they're not as good as the other two. I think I agree with you, chat. I think you guys are smart on this one. I give Oreo mega stuff a C. Okay? 
Middle of the road. Listen, you're losing points at this point. You're losing points the more stuff you put in. Guys. Jesus Christ. Most stuff Oreo. I'm gonna open them, okay? I'm gonna open this package. And I think that'll be enough content. This is, opening a package of most stuff Oreos is the funniest thing you can do all day. This is it. This is most stuff. Hello? This is most stuff. This is what happens when you take a bad idea and run so far with it. This is what you wind up with. This is not... You saw me open that one. I didn't plan that out. I didn't plan that out. I didn't mush it all together. I was very careful with the packaging. This is how every single one comes. Every single one. Let's try another one. I got a bunch. I got a bunch of them. <laughs> Place your bets, boys. Well... Yep, there it is again. I got another one. <laughs> Oh, that one's actually pretty decent. Okay. All right, all right. I'll give Oreo credit where credit's due. This one came out pretty decent. But I just want you to look at it. All right? Do you think this was supposed to happen? Is that... Is this what every most stuff Oreo cookie looks like? This isn't even Icarus anymore. I know I reference Icarus. <laughs> the story of Icarus with the with the with the the mega stuff Oreos. This is this is Icarus. This is the Eternals fuck who 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 got so butthurt over losing a girl that he flew himself into the sun directly. I don't even care that I spoiled the movie. It's that bad. It's that fucking bad. You want to watch Eternals? I'll save you the entire... I'll save you 15 bucks right now. The dude who's an evil Superman or whatever flies himself into the sun at the end. Jesus Christ. I just saved you like three hours too. I saved you three hours. What a terrible movie. And it's just like... 
this does not this this should not exist I'm sorry it's too fucking much sucks that fucking sucks Oreo most stuff easy easiest F I've given all night easiest F Christ almighty what is going on in their heads Jesus fucking Christ. So bad, bro. Ugh. Ugh. So gross. All right. Oreo's got some more flavors. Specifically, thins. They have thins. Oreo thins is a thing. Because, uh... I guess they were thinking the same thing Lenny and Larry were thinking when they made a healthy fucking cookie. I have never seen a thin person eating Oreo Thins. It's true. It's true. If you eat Oreo Thins, you're just trying to make yourself feel better about eating unhealthy food because they put less cum in the middle. Look, a word of advice, a word of advice for everyone out there who eats Oreo Thins, okay? If you're upset about the way you look, stop eating cookies altogether. Please, do me a solid. Jesus fucking Christ. That being said, the, co <laughs> the cookie is an Oreo, which means it's it's decent at at best. Like it's not a, it's not overly offensive. So I'm gonna give Oreo Thins a D. Sorry. I want to apologize for anybody, any big fan of, of Oreo Thins out there that I just insulted. <sighs> I got a suggestion. Maybe stop buying Oreo Thins to solve your problems. Maybe download P90X or some shit. Just opinion. <sighs> All righty. Let's talk about mint Oreos. Mint. Mint Oreos. Oreos got weird flavors now. We're going into the weirder side of Oreos. The big reveal. Bro. This is vile. This is vile. It smells like it smells like gum, too. It smells like Trident, all right? You guys are split. You guys are split on the Oreo mints. Just like eating mint chocolate chip ice cream. Can the mods fa find who said that in chat and ban them promptly? Dude, it's toothpaste Oreos. Exactly. That's what it is. That's what this is. Voting closed. 45% of you say F. 22% say S. That's a bit of a split. It's a bit of a split. <laughs> Look. Oreos got some good flavors and they've got some bad flavors. And mint is just one of the bad ones. I just don't like mint. I don't like mint cookies. I don't think it belongs there. I don't think it belongs there. I feel like I'm either brushing my teeth or trying to like chew some gum. I'm sorry. They do. They do Oreo Thins mint too, right? They do it too. We don't even need to vote on this. It's the same cookie. I'm giving it E. I'm giving both of them E, all right? Oreo Thins, Oreo regular, mint flavor. 
Not good. Stop eating them. <sighs> Let's do birthday cake. Oreo birthday cake. <sighs> this is another office favorite. They've been dug into quite a bit. And I imagine this will be another decisive one. How are we feeling? An Oreo birthday cake. I'm not going to share my opinion just yet. <sighs> too sweet. That's the thing. Look, two seconds left. Wow, F. Look at this. All right, so the chat results, uh, based on the chat results, it seems like you guys either enjoy them or really fucking hate them. And I gotta be honest, this is just a shitty version of the frosted sugar cookies. It is, it is, it is, it is. If you wanna be a glutton, eat these, man. Eat these, don't go with this. It's just a shittier version, it's shitty. It's not good. If, if you eat these cookies, if you eat these cookies, I do not trust you. Okay? Go to fucking Kroger. Go to go to King Cullen. All right? And buy the actual frosted sugar cookies. Don't, don't, don't do this, man. Dude, don't do that. Birthday cake Oreos. E. Not good. Not good. Sorry. Cry about it. Alright, next up. Where is it? Oh. Ah. I actually wasn't able to find a big box of these. So we'll do this. Golden Oreos. How do we feel about Golden Oreos, boys? We like them? We hate them? What would you rate them? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Who was that? Why is that... What fucking memory did I just dredge up? <laughs> Where the fuck did- who said that shit? <laughs> the needle drop? Oh, the- <laughs> Ah, core memory unlocked. I think I just got Fantano going in the background. Golden Oreos, let's talk Golden Oreos. Like you need to review and rank fruit? No. If that ever happens, you know I am just desperate for content. I don't even know what most fruit tastes like. <laughs> you see me? <laughs> I'm getting up there. Alrighty. Voting closed. You guys think C? C up to S. Actually, wow, okay. You guys like these more than I thought you would. My opinion on Golden Oreos is quite concise. I think Golden Oreos are just a worse Vienna Fingers. All right? Golden Oreos are just a worse... Golden Oreos are just a worse Vienna Fingers. All right? I put these on C. Decent. Decent. But regular Oreos, so much better. Sorry, I had to redo that one for the YouTube. I don't even know if I could review ice cream because there's so many different brands. Like... There's, there's like a hundred different brands and a hundred different flavors. And the flavor, how good that is, depends on the brand. It would just be, it'd be a 10 hour long stream, man. And I don't have the freezer space either. There's not even a freezer in this office. 
Alrighty. Java chip Oreos. Hold on. Uh, the overlay was blo blocking it. I'm sorry. Guys, pretend like you're seeing this for the first time. Oh. Oh. Dude, someone in chat said it the best. If you like these, that is a major, major red flag. Okay? I didn't even know these were a flavor, and I'm upset that I found out they were. Okay, why anyone on earth would want to eat a coffee flavored cookie? Yeah, don't you got Biscoff for that? Don't you got Biscoff for that? You want to eat cookies with coffee? Nobody does it. Nobody does it. No one's ever said I want a coffee flavored cookie. <laughs> Fucking gross, man. Fuck you. Fuck you if you like this. Voting is closed. The overwhelming majority has voted. So, uh, F, F, that's fine. I respect you all for that. Unfortunately, uh, I'm gonna have to hunt down and post the IP and Mac addresses of everyone who voted S on uh, Java chip Oreos because this cookie, this cookie's an F. <clears throat> uh, where's lemon Oreos? Lemon Oreos. Did I just turn blue for a second? Did you see me turn blue? Or was that just my OBS? Blue. I don't know what just happened. Either way, the votes are rolling in on the lemon. Fifteen seconds left, boys. How do we feel about lemon Oreos? Now, let me be real. I have never had one in my life. more yellow than the cookie. That's just gross. S? Where are the 20% of you who voted S on lemon? I've never had it, but I guarantee you it's not good. Jesus Christ. All right, well, here we go. No, 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 no. Oh God, you fucking empty taste. I don't even, I don't even think I'm, I'm sorry. I gotta go back for seconds on this fucking box. So bad, dude. Who the fuck? Where are the twenty percent of you that voted S on this? Fuck you, Shlad. I like those. Banned. <laughs> God, terrible. Lemon Oreo F. Almost as easy as a most stuff Oreo F. God. I think the moral of the story there is that Oreo flavors are just not good. I mean, you can't beat the... Oh, did I really have a voice crack like that? I gotta say the entire sentence again. Oh. I think the moral of the... St I think the moral of the story here is that Oreo flavors are just not good. 
Like, you can't beat the original Oreo. You just can't. Don't add lemon to it. Don't make it golden. Vienna Fingers has got that covered. <sighs> but also, Oreo doesn't need to do any other flavors, okay? Because that base Oreo cookie is one of the best flavors out there, okay? They know what they're doing right, okay? Just cut, just shave off all the, just shave off all the fat, Oreo. Like, get rid of, drop all the fucking flavors, okay? <sighs> okay. Next up, we're almost done. Fig Newtons. Thirty seconds left on the figs, boys. What even is a fig? Ugh. Fig Newtons. Ugh. Why no Girl Scout cookies? Because that's a whole nother stream, baby. There will be another, another stream, another video for Girl Scout cookies. We will rank them. All right, make no mistake. Make no mistake. Voting has closed. Wow. I'm not going to lie. Um, I don't feel qualified to talk about Fig Newtons. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, they show them like that? Never. Never. In my... T Never in my 22 years on this planet have I ever tasted a fig fucking Newton. Okay? I've never done it. I don't even know what the fuck a fig is. What is a fig? What is it? Is that a fruit? I've never even seen one. What? Like, first of all, we're bringing imaginary fruits into cookies again. Call back to Lenny and Larry's who are trying to get you to eat healthy. We all know this is bullshit for you. And second of all, Newtons? Newtons? We're bringing physics into it now? Listen, I got a five on the AP Physics C Mechanics exam. Five. That's a perfect fucking score. And you don't see me eating fig fucking Newtons. Do it. And it's not gonna start now. And it's not gonna start now. I'm not even gonna have one. I'm not even gonna fucking have one. Fig fucking Newtons. Suck my dick. What is it? What is a fig Newton? I'm not going to try it. No. No. I'm keeping the streak going. All right? How many of you... 18% S on figs? Sorry. Fig Newton. Taking the Express A train. To the F station. Oh, don't, don't rate it if you haven't tried it. Fuck you, it's my stream. Go tune into Miskiff. I hear he's playing League. That's great content. <sighs> okay. Next one. Nutter butter. Nutter butter. Nutter butter. Wow. Holy shit. Look at these ratings. Honestly, that is fucking surprising. I am extremely surprised at this. Thank you. 
Oh, they don't have one of those peel things. I just have to open them at the top. Five seconds, boys. Get the votes in. Get the votes in. The big reveal. Nutter Butters. Ooh, not bad. Not bad. <laughs> Peanut buttery. They're shaped like peanuts. It's cute. Hmm. Hmm. Here's the thing. You guys felt S on this. Nutter Butters just weird me out. They do. They do. Like you're telling me that no company, none, no other company in the world can make a peanut butter flavored cookie that tastes better than this shit? These things are fucking weird, man. Like, are you supposed to put them in the fridge? Are you supposed to dip them in milk? What are they? What is it? Why is it shaped like a peanut? Every single homemade peanut butter cookie I've ever had in my life has tasted better than a, than a fucking nutter butter. It just has. It is so easy to do peanut butter cookies right. And yet no company does it. Also, fuck you for calling it nutter butter. You're weird. I'm sorry, S? 35%? Every single homemade cookie, every single homemade peanut butter cookie tastes better than a nutter butter. Every single one. Every single one, man. Why is it in slow mode? Can we take chat off slow mode, guys? What the heck? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. These aren't good. I'm giving Nutter Butters a <laughs> a D, appropriately, <laughs> for being named Nutter Butter. <laughs> eh, take a D. Take a D, Nutter Butter. I know you have before. All right. <laughs> Nilla wafers. Yes, dude. Yes. Nilla wafers, dude. How do we feel about these fucking things. Where is the poll? Where's the poll? There it is. Okay, we're good. Get your votes in on Nillis. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Man. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Look at this. Look at this. You don't know what's fucked up. <laughs> Look at these votes coming in. 60% of you say yes. You want to know what's fucked up, though? This is shortbread. This is a shortbread cookie. Why give every other shortbread an F? Why have you voted F on every other shortbread cookie? What about this excites you? You guys are so weird. So weird, man. All right. We been, dude, we were on a very rough streak of bad reviews. Uh, luckily, <laughs> Nilla Wafer is here to save the day because because I fucking love them, okay? Oh, my God. Man. Man. Again, dude. This is probably one of them where it's a very nostalgic thing for me. But as a kid, me and my mom would put all the... As a kid, me and my mom would pour all these into a <laughs> into a Ziploc bag. We'd pour all of them into a Ziploc bag, crush them up with like a mallet. And then we'd crush up a bunch of like chocolate chip cookies. We'd mix in some, some vanilla pudding too. Whipped cream. It was called a sand cake. I don't know if you guys have ever done that. Have you guys ever made, like... you guys ever put these? Oh, my God, dude. 
if you guys have never had it, right? It's called a sand cake, I'm pretty sure, right? Take a bunch of Nilla wafers. Take a bunch of chocolate chip cookies. Chips Deluxe is probably your best bet. Vanilla pudding mix in a tray. Sprinkle some of the some of the dust over it. Put a layer of whipped cream. Just layer it, layer it. You got to get the ratio right. But oh my God, that is the best fucking dessert you'll ever have. That's the best. <sighs> I'd kill for some of that right now. The problem is, I just don't like him as much as some of the other ones on the S tier. Nello Wafers, I like you, but it's not its not like that, man. It's not like that. I'm giving you an A. You do a good job, but you don't, you know. It's not its not perfect. I'm sorry. A, I, 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 look, I feel like that's fair. Is that, f I feel like it's fair to give him an A. A's a good score. It's a good score. It's a good score. <sighs> Where are the Girl Scout cookies? I already said, bro. This is another video. I'm going to get all the Girl Scout cookies. I promise. It's going to happen. Next up on the list, uh, I don't actually have them. I don't actually have them. But... I'm sure you guys know there's no real brand that uh <laughs> there's no real brand that makes these better than any other brand black and white cookies they all kind of taste the same right how do we feel about black and white cookies i wish i had some i tried going to the the fucking grocery store and the and the uh and the um a, a bakery they don't have them like, they're hard to come by in Texas. Maybe it's a regional thing. Like, do you guys not know what a... You guys don't know what a black and white cookie is? Wait, are you guys serious? Is this some New York shit? Oh my god. I had no idea. I guess we learn something new every day. Yeah, they dip one side in, like, vanilla something, and then the other side in chocolate. This must be very regional. This must be very regional. Not a lot of you are voting. <laughs> oh, man. But I gotta say. I gotta say. These are hard. These are hard. That's why they're hard to find in Texas, I guess. Do you call them half moon cookies? Do you call them rainbow cookies? What, what, what the fuck are you calling them these days? Every black and white cookie tastes the same. Whether you're getting, whether you, whether you get them from Entenmann's or the local bakery, they all taste the same. They're all made the same way. I mean, it's all, it's the same ratio of 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 black to white, right? And look, this is another nostalgia thing for me, because as a kid, my parents, I was big into trains. Okay, love trains. That's why I still fucking play Open TTD, a game that's older than everybody watching right now. Uh, but I would go on my little radio flyer. I still remember this. The fucking radio flyer wagon. I'd be pulled on the radio flyer all the way to the train station. There was a deli right by the train station. We'd go in there, get black and white cookies, and watch the trains drive by for hours. Honestly, very good memories of the uh, of these cookies. So. What a chat boat? S? Okay. Listen, I'm not feeling too too hyped about them. But I think it's very fair to give these cookies a B. You gotta get them locally. Dude, it's like the uh it's like the peanut butter cookies, right? Not a butter shit. If you get Entenmann's black and white cookies, I mean, it's not gonna be as good as a homemade you know, thing from a little bakery. You know, I mean, would you rather, would you rather a fucking corporation make you these cookies? Or would you rather Giuseppe make you the cookie? I'm picking Giuseppe any day of the fucking week. I don't know about you guys. You guys want Giuseppe making the cookie. 
Alrighty. Next one. Guys, we are almost done. We are almost done. Ah, how are we feeling about this list? Am I am I doing all right? Am I doing all right thus far? We got it. We got two more. Two more. Okay. It's time to talk about Stella Doro. You guys know what Stella Doro is? You guys know what I'm talking about? Stella Doro, the Marguerite combination. Oh my God. Let me tell you, this is another, this is another extremely regional food. This company, New York based, just like Tate's. Oh my God. And again, it might just be my New York pride. It might just be my New York pride. votes in get your votes in it looks east coast dude it is this is made straight this is made in the heart of brooklyn and you can't tell me you can't tell me anything else You're like it just is right these cookies are made in just the basement of some building in brooklyn right <laughs> that's where they are that's where you go to get them <sighs> the kid from brooklyn hey the big man's back Dude, I bet the big man loves Stella Doros. Oh, no, no. oh my god. <sighs> All right. Boats are closed. You guys say B. Listen. <sighs> mm. I like these cookies because my dad likes these cookies, all right? These were always in the fridge. They were always at my disposal. I could always pick one out, enjoy one, and you get to pick. You get to pick, you get the choice. What, you want a vanilla one or you want a chocolate one? It's, it's good, it's perfect, honestly. Hmm. Look, I really like these things. I really like these things, okay? But I have to give them, but I have to give them an A because Stella Doro does one better. And those of you who know Stella Doro know exactly what's coming. Stella Doro. Swiss fudge. You'll notice half the half the package is gone. Mm. Anyone, anyone who is familiar with Stella Doro knows exactly how good these fucking cookies are. Anybody, dude. I ate more than half of them. I have to. <laughs> Only a third is left. Just, it makes me happy even looking at them. Look at them. Look at them. These are cookies. These are cookies. Holy fuck. Look at the rating on these. Holy shit. Boys. I hope you're rating it not because I just told you to rate it an S. I didn't say anything about them. I hope you actually genuinely enjoy these cookies. Dude, this is where it's at. This is, Swiss fudge is one of the most unique looking and unique tasting cookies out there. It, it is just so nice biting in. You have a little like crumbly shortbread on the outside and a very like almost chewy, like a, like a soft chocolate filling on the inside. It's Honestly, it is so different from any other cookie, and it is so fucking good. And for anyone who has not had this cookie, look at the fucking rating, bro. Look at the fucking rating. You got to try one. Just buy one. Mm. Man. I eat the whole thing, but I am fucking full.
ready. So, <laughs> I'm very pleased to announce that Stella Doro Swiss Fudge gets an emphatic S. S, baby. This is one of the best fucking cookies out there. Honestly, Tate still takes the cake. I still, I still, I still, what was it? What was the, what was the alliterator bullshit we had? I'd still, uh, something Tate's taint, tickle Tate's taint, take tint, 5% tint. Oh, man. <sighs> so, that is it. That is it. That's everything. <laughs> um, here is the full list from top to bottom, S to F. These are my opinions. You guys have been wrong. Uh, and yeah, if you have any death threats, any any suggestions, anything you think I got wrong, leave them in the comments. And uh, I will not watch. Uh, and I will not look at them. I will not. I will not look at them. Say hi to YouTube, everybody. This is the outro. Again, though, stick around. I'm telling you, at the end of this stream, the end of the stream, I'm going straight to my alt, to my alt account. And we are going to watch some, uh, we're going to do some low, low effort Twitch stream, average Twitch streamer content. We're going to react to some stuff. Just sit down, chill, have a good time. <coughs> God, dude. Oh my God, I'm so full. I'm so full. Ugh. Not, this is not goodbye yet. Mm. So, again, that's the full list. This is what I'm feeling. Honestly, best cookie on the planet, Tate's, the regular chocolate chip. Up next is that Stella Doro Swiss fudge. Oh my God. Moral of the story is that I like cookies. I'm a fat fuck. another fortune Um, guys, I gotta go. Um, Well, it was supposed to be cool. <laughs>